Welcome to Syncreate, a show where we explore the intersections between creativity, psychology, and spirituality. We believe everyone has the capacity to create. Our goal is to demystify the process and expand the boundaries of what it means to be creative. I'm Melinda Rothhaus, and I help individuals and organizations bring their dreams and visions to life. And I'm Charlotte Gullick. I'm a writer, educator, and writing coach. We're the co-authors of a book on the creative process, also called Syncreate. At Syncreate, we're here to support your creative endeavors. So if you have an idea for a project or a new venture, please reach out to us for one-on-one coaching or join our Syncreate 2024 six-month coaching group starting in July. This virtual six-month coaching group will guide you through the journey of creativity in order to move from start to finish on a creative project. Join us for accountability, community, and fun. We're offering a 10% discount on the coaching series if you mentioned this podcast. You can find more information on our our website, syncreate.org, where you can also find all of our podcast episodes. All right, we're back. And today we're going to be talking about the three Ps. And these are creative practice, creative process, and creative product. So these are slightly different from, but related to, the three Ps we talk about in our book, Play, Plan, and Produce. So these three are are kind of things that I came up with in working with clients, that whenever I start working with a new creative client, I kind of frame things in terms of these. So what is your creative practice, which is, you know, really, um, what is your space? What is your time that you're dedicating to your work? You know, what is the actual sit down time on your instrument in the studio, whatever that is? How many times a week? How many hours a week? Is there anything you need to do to make your space feel more conducive to your work? Um, Like I notice your flowers in the background there, which are very lovely. You know, little things we can do to uplift our our workspace to make it feel inviting. You know, some people light a candle, um, you know, in, in honor of the creative spirit, whatever that might be to you. Or even, yeah, just little rituals that you can do to get you into that creative mindset. So that's the first one, creative practice. And then there's creative process. So this is the actual doing of the work. So once we get into our space, once we've blocked off the time, then, you know, we get in there and we're working on whatever it is, whatever medium that we're working in. And this is kind of where we talk in the book about kind of the the drafting, the iteration phase, the composition phase, um, we, you know, where we're, we, you know, what is our process for getting things done? And it can be helpful to actually map out our process so that we understand the conditions under which we work best, right? And so even if time is limited and we can only work in small chunks. We know how to get there and get into our groove more consistently. Um, And then the product is, you know, what we're aiming toward, what we end up with. It's the thing that we actually bring out into the world. And there can be different versions of this. You know, we might get to, you know, a a working draft of something or, you know, a a painting and it's not quite finished yet, but we've kind of come to a place where we can see it coming to life or, you know, a music work, whatever it might be, Um, you know, and that's where we kind of, you know, start to get feedback from others, refine it, and then ultimately bring it out in the world. But it's, um, why is this important, Charlotte? Well, I think it kind of, if we back off just one minute and like, what is the goal of Syncreate? Syncreate is to empower people in their creativity. And so the subtleties and the nuances of what you're talking about, um, they go against kind of the the myth of what it means to be creative. Like I'm an inspired genius and I <laughs> felt my painting and I do it and I'm crappy to my family at the same time. Right. And, and it's you, all one thing, right? One it's thing. Just, like, yeah. Every, 
montage, I'm done. And I think what you're asking people to consider um, is that there is nuance and there is differentiation between these three elements of the creative process. And the more we think about the, you know, our process, our practice, and our product, we're actually gaining self-awareness mm-hmm. um, to, so that we can be more empowered. And if we don't, th- we, then the creative process kind of remains elusive. And almost for me, like it, that becomes depressing. Like I can't obtain it because mm. I'm not an inspired genius. Mm. But it, with what you're suggesting here, and I think what the Syncre mission is, is to let's pay attention to what works for us. What, yes. where do I work well? When yes. do I work well? Am yes. I clear on what I'm trying to do? And not that you need to have definitive answers in every moment, but knowing that there's some wiggle room and some flexibility and how we approach things um, allows us to have more traction within ourselves um, and more traction with our creative expression. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. So um, what's our pro tip for today? Our pro tip for today is to learn which phase of the creative process you are in. And we encourage you to keep a reflective journal. So at the end of your day or your week or your month, you take a a, a little bit of time and block it out and consistently check in with yourself about what worked well here? How could I improve? What felt good in my body when I was doing it? Um, how can I um, incre- increase my positive feeling around doing this? And um, I think this is also ties back into our creative community when we might have the opportunity to share with someone, oh, I'm keeping a reflective journal and I'm realizing this about my process. Um, that the the pro tip of paying attention to how it is that you pay attention to yourself can be incredibly empowering. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And just knowing, you know, what am I doing at any given time? And, um, you know, just, yeah, getting to know yourself and your creative process in that way. And I think with like a uh, uh, compassion and, and curiosity and mm-hmm. not like, oh, I need to know what I'm doing at every mona minute. I can't even every minute, every minute, but like <laughs> there's this, there's a, uh, like it's almost like how we would tend a garden. Mm-hmm. You know, but let's tend our own creative process and pay attention to what it is that works well for us. Um, and then we actually can be more joyful in our process and in the rest of our lives. Yeah, beautiful. Find and connect with us on YouTube and social media under SyncCreate. And we're now on Patreon as well. If you enjoy the show, please subscribe and leave us a review. And we're recording today at Record ATX Studios in Austin, Texas, with Charlotte joining us from the Hudson Valley. And the podcast is produced in collaboration with Mike Osborne at 14th Street Studios. Thanks so much for being with us and see you next time.